Who here has ever heard of the Sultan of Brunei, or even the country of Brunei? If you answered no, just be aware, he is not that famous. His real name is Hassan Al Bolkiah, and he is known to have the largest car collection in the world. And not just any car collection, but it's estimated he owns a whopping 7,000 cars. As spectacular as his car collection is, it's not open to the public to see. If we go to the country of Brunei, it's very small, but an oil-rich country. It's located in Southeast Asia, and sadly, as the poverty level rises, all throughout this world, his car collection is estimated to be worth a staggering $5 billion. How could this be? Are the cars that he owns really that rare? And the answer is yes. His car collection is so large that it's rumored that he kept Bentley and Rolls Royce in business during their tough years. Or in other words, the years where they were struggling just to stay afloat. A recent finding just came out that in the mid 1990s, more than half of the Bentleys and Rolls Royces that went into production were sold to the Sultan's family. And many of them were sold at prices much higher than what they were valued at. If we go into more detail, we see his collection is extremely rare. One of the most interesting purchases is a group of six Bentley Dominators. This is one of the first Bentley SUVs ever made and known to be the processor and the preceder of the current and world famous Bentley Bentayga. For some odd reason, Bentley sold this SUV to the Sultan before it even came out. It was as if he had exclusivity right and some sort of secret agreement with Bentley that no one else in the world would have. The Bentley Dominator soon became known as a secret project. But for some reason, photographers were able to take paparazzi shots of it and leak it to the public. Even another car called the Bentley Buccaneer was produced in 1996. It was a concept car that was never released to the public, but for some reason, the Sultan had it. And the list goes on. The Bentley Camelot, the Bentley Phoenix, Imperial, Rapier, Pegasus, Silverstone, and the Bentley Spectrum. Can you imagine the Sultan of Brunei was getting all these cars before they were even released to the public? Just think to yourself for a second, how would it feel to own a Ford Mustang from the year 2050, but you own that car 20 years before it even comes out? The feeling must be immaculate. But it doesn't come easy. I'm sure there were significant amounts of money being exchanged for these exclusivity rights. And if you think this is mind boggling, he owns almost 600 Rolls Royces. Now forget about the Rolls Royce Phantom and the Rolls Royce Ghost. Such cars such as the Rolls Royce Royale, Majestic, and even Cloud SQ were all gifted to the Sultan of Brunei. And more interesting is the fact that they were never produced for the public. It was as if they were custom made and ordered specifically for the Sultan. These models were all secret prototypes and as exclusive as you can get. Think of it as a secretive car that only the Sultan had. Some even made into limousines. If you look at the pictures of his wedding day, you will see the Sultan is in a Rolls Royce Silver Spur 2. The car was so exclusive that it was painted in a coat of 24 karat gold. Like seriously, how come I've never heard of this guy before? And his family loves these cars too. His brother, Prince Jeffrey, has six Ferrari station wagons. The Ferrari 456 GT Venice, an F90, the 1995 FX in which the Sultan specifically ordered six for him, two 250 GTOs, and an F40 Ferrari. All prestigious cars that really bring the meaning of luxury to the royal family. Still, with this immaculate size, many of these cars are hidden in storage. And sadly, the public has no access to them. 
It's really a tragedy that the biggest car collection in the world cannot be seen to the public. It would make me really happy if they were to open a museum of his car collection, but hopefully one day in the future, that would become a reality. I hope you like this video, and if you can comment below on which car of the Sultans was your favorite.